Today at Chat State with Kristen Anderson and Adam Tucker and Ben Bishop with your local weather. Hello, I'm Kristen Anderson. And I'm Adam Tucker. How's your day going so far? My day has actually been really good. I got up early, I got a good breakfast in. What about you? It's been perfect too, all good all around. Well, that's great. And in campus news, fall, fall break. break. Classes will not be meeting on Monday or Tuesday next week, but campus offices will be open. Hopefully we'll have some good weather to get outdoors. In celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, students from Latin America Student Organization will share their unique stories with the rest of the campus. The event takes place Thursday, October 15th at 2.30 p.m. Discussion will be led by LASSO advisors Juan Al Alonzo and Nick Mancito. You must register online, so check your email for more information. There are a variety of resources available to any of our students who may be in need, from virtual tutoring to food donations from our Tiger Cupboard, Don't Go Without. For more information about obtaining help, student support services is under the student tab on chattanoogastate.edu. I'm just glad that our students who need help can get it. Same here, it's always good to help people out. Ben, what's our weather looking like for today? Well, it's been really nice outside with a cool fall temperatures and clear skies. Um, that's going to change this weekend with rain heading our way from the southwest um, as Hurricane Delta will make landfall this Friday on the Gulf Coast. Uh, let's look at our seven-day forecast. Uh, high today of 84 degrees and cloudy. Um, cloudy and cool on Friday with storms popping up. Uh, then um, late uh, rain Saturday with temps in the mid-70s for most of the weekend. Uh, rain continues with storms on Monday and warmer temps. Then cloudy Tuesday and back to nice weather in about a week. Back to you. Coven isn't the only unwelcome guest invading the White House. It's also got a vermin problem. And one CNN reporter seems to be a favorite target of the masked bandits. His colleague Jenny Moose has the furry details. Out of control at the White House? No, not just coronavirus. Raccoons! There's an invasion crawling around the media cables on the White House lawn, sniffing at bags of gear. Is there food in there? Making a beeline for CNN's Joe Johns in the middle of a live shot. Get! There he is. Now, no events on the president's schedule today. Maybe you think Joe has seen too many movie raccoons. Does someone need a hug? You too might lob a footstool just to scare it. No, no raccoons were harmed in this exercise. If this was your second run-in with a raccoon, just the week before as Joe was about to go live. I felt something on my leg and the first thing I thought was it was a cameraman from another network and I looked down and it's a raccoon that had just grabbed my leg. Law enforcement is on the hunt, spotlighting them with their flashlights, throwing some sort of sandbag, which the raccoon actually tried to drag away. One ended up in a Secret Service security shack Dogs have joined the search, even broomsticks have been deployed, but like in the movie, the nut job. Not so fast. The raccoons keep coming. Is he still there? Can somebody chase him away? Someone tried to trap them. They have put, a, put some marshmallows. Some rooted for the raccoons. Cue the raccoon gifts. That White House raccoon even created its own Twitter account, though with raccoon misspelled. Sure. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Mice have previously invaded the White House, and President Calvin Coolidge's wife had a pet raccoon. But never before have raccoons run amok. In the midst of a pandemic, a White House reporter is often told, Please stay safe. Where's your mommy? <laughs> but unlike other White House occupants, at least the raccoons always wear their masks. Ginny Mose, CNN. Frickin' raccoons, man. God, New York. Again, this is the second time. Where's your mommy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for today at Chat State. Be sure to watch us online. 
and in the amphitheater. Have a great day, everyone. Scene one, scene one, scene one.